Hey, what's up guys? It's the Ghost Hacker here, and I'm back for another Visual Studio tutorial. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the key up and key down events. Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, it's pretty much just hotkeys. So, how to how to add hotkeys to your program. This is very easy. It's going to be a very fast tutorial. And we're going to hop right in here and create ourselves a new project. Windows form, like usual. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to be using a label. Of course, you don't have to use a label. You can make it do whatever you want. And now, I'm just going to make this a uh, large so you can see it. Eh, uh, we'll make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so now, make sure you got your form selected by clicking the background here. And go over here, you'll see this little, uh, whatever this is. Um, click it, it'll bring you to the events. And now we're going to scroll down until we see key down. Right here, key down. Now we're going to double click it. And here we're going to do if e dot key code equals keys dot. Now what are the key you want? So if you want A, you put A here. You can also use like the arrow keys and everything. But for the arrow keys, you can do left or right or up or down or whatever. Um, so yeah, you can also press control and the spacebar and I'll just give you a list of every key. Very helpful. For this, I'm just going to do, um, A, why not? Then we're going to do then. And in here, we're going to do, we're going to type in whatever we want it to do. So if you want it to open another form, you just put form 2.open or whatever you want, or dot .show technically. Um, but yeah, so for me, I'm just going to do... Label one. Oh, I've messed that up. We'll just redo that. Label one dot text equals. And for here, we're going to do key down. Okay, now we're going to go back to the form one. Make sure you got it selected and scroll down here. And we're going to go to key up. Now, this is where I'm going to show you how to use the key up statement. Pretty much the same, just slightly different. I'll show you the difference in a second. So we're just going to do if e dot key code equals a then label one dot text equals um, key up. Okay, so that's pretty much all you have to do. Very easy, not hard at all. We're going to start up a program here. Now here you're going to see the difference in between key up and key down. When I press A and I hold it down, it's going to stay on key down. And when I let it up, it's going to go to key up. Key down, key up, key down, key up. Very easy, not hard at all. So say if, um, say if you want to make a help screen or something, you won't have to use key up too. Just use key down, open the form, and you're done. You don't have to use key up. Just if you want it to do something else when you let go of the key, that's when you'd have to use it. So hopefully that helped. And um, yeah, if it did, leave me a like. If it didn't, let me know in the comments and hopefully I can help you out. And until next time, guys, hope you guys have a great day and bye bye.